Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? Had a kids. I'm Q the Costa Rican, and today we are back with some more Pokemon Scarlet Violet ranked battle stadium singles 3v3s here in Regulation G. The restricted legendaries are allowed. Today we're using Garatina Origin. We have borrowed this team from someone who top placed with it. Uh, they, I believe, they were at number 289 uh, last season, season 19, with this Garatina Origin team. It looks really fun. It actually went through. Uh, a few different it actually went through a few different renditions of the team i believe an earlier version of the team had choice banded dragonite instead of the mamoswine what really caught my eye actually was the likes of magnezo mamoswine and moltres the three m's you don't really see these three pokemon all that much anymore in ranked magnezone was pretty popular when flutter mains first got introduced and then moltres was also i liked using it as well like an agility nasty plot set uh or was it just nasty plot or was it just agility and not nasty plot i don't know regardless i remember running with it and it was really fun with weakness policy and terra steel this version that they have here i don't i this looks like a vgc ass moltres also i'm gonna break the fourth wall a little bit because i'm upset all right guys uh you know skip the intro if you want to but we already recorded this session this session was done this said we had we, we we did five or six battles we had three really good ones you know, Garatina did everything we wanted it to do. It knocked out a Fluttermane. It knocked out a Ghost Horse. It lived hits. It dropped a Draco. You know, the world was our oyster. And then we were doing the outro, and then boom, the power went out. And it stayed out for a good two and a half hours. And now we're back here trying to record again because, for whatever reason, while you're recording and your power goes out, it corrupts the file, and you can't play it back or use it in an editor whatsoever. So that's that's my story and I'm sticking to it, and I'm very upset, and I hope we can get at least one good battle with Garatina Origin, uh, because the last session was kind of crazy. Regardless, if you guys want to check out all the intricacies of the EV sprays that are located in the poker Pace in the description down below. Now, I only skimmed through the article that this person wrote about their team, but from what I could uh, understand, my assumptions are that the Magnezone is here, just as a blanket check to special attackers, as well as a, a hard check to the likes of Maridon, walling the dual stab, of course um and then terra fairy which is cool uh, i fucks with it the team's very very weak to fighting outside of garatina origin and then if garatina origin does terra now we're very weak to fighting so i understand magnazone needing like a fighting resist option same thing with mammal swine uh garatina pretty self-explanatory we are brave nature uh up an attack just so we don't have uh any stats lowered into special attack because we might be dropping dracos from here here and there it does two a ko don doza with the draco meteor so that is something good to know terra steel iron head is also pretty nice and then your main stab being poltergeist and shadow sneak which is really really cool the grisius core boosting both the Draco Meteor and your and your Ghost type. I was gonna say and your Shadow type moves and your Ghost type moves. Uh, Mammal Swine is supposed to be somewhat of a not consistent check to Coridon. So let me explain a little bit. I actually read this part of the article pretty intently because I was like, oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Now on paper, a Terra Fairy Thick Fat Mammal Swine makes a lot of sense to be able to wall Coridon, right? Because you're normally weak to Fighting type moves. Now you're gonna resist the Fairy. Uh, you resist the Fire type moves with Thick Fat. And you are immune to the dragon type moves. Per makes perfect sense. You break potential sash with the rocky helmet, knock them out with earthquake if they terra fire, or terra blast if they don't terra, or crash if you're feeling frisky. Um, but a lot of them just run U turn, so they might just U turn turn one instead of getting that trade off, or they uh, might click flame charge and terra fire on you. But then they also might not terra fire because you're part ground. You know what I mean? So it's like it, it's it's a, it's a, it's a it's a bit of a it's a bit of a roll the dice kind of a kind of a thing but they did say that if you're going against Coridon teams you most likely are going to be leading off a mammoth swine because they most likely lead off a Coridon and you're going to try and catch it off guard i will say out of the six battles we did do with this team we ran into two Coridon teams and neither of them brought it which was really weird will that change today who knows up next we have specs bundle pretty self-explanatory where we land a hydro pump today find out next time the VGC Moltre set that I was talking shit about, will it pop off? I will say, in a battle you guys won't see, and so I could just be lying to you. It actually did pop off. It clutched up and knocked out a Pokemon and 1v1 the Ghost Horse. Um, No, it 1v1 a Ghost Horse and then flinched a Dondozo to win the game. Uh, and then last but not least, focus Ash or Shifu, which is adamant nature, so it's going to be hitting pretty hard. Uh, like I said earlier, if you guys want to check out all, all the intricacies of the EV spreads, they're not mine. They are the creator's EV spreads. Uh... 
they will be located in the poker base in the description down below if you want to use the team for yourself the team id is in the right hand corner 9716 b9 let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought of the team as well as any of the new pokemon you guys might want to see us use in the future but with that being said guys i'm gonna get about of here uh i hope y'all like wait hope you I hope you all like the video. I hope you all subscribe if you're new. I hope you all enjoy the battles. All right, y'all. Here we are with the first battle once again. In case you guys skipped the intro and you don't know what's going on. We already did a session with this team. But my power went out. And it ruined the recording. And now here we are again. Trying to do it all over again. Uh, we have a Gothitelle team. Which leads me to believe that this may or may not be of a team code. Just because gothitelle has been on like a lot of the top teams from the previous seasons. But I don't know. I don't have that type of time or information at my disposal at the moment. Uh, what are they going to do? Are they going to lead a Shifu? Are they going to lead something else? Anyways, what do I like here? What if I just lead Garatina? What happens? Are they going to lead Ting Lu is the question though. It's a tough one. Because I kind of... I don't want to lead. I want to. I'm just gonna do this, cause that, like Moltres looks good if they lead the horse or Gothitelle or Urshifu, honestly. But it's bad if they lead the fucking Ting Lu. It's also this is also bad if they lead the damn Ting Lu. But I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna bring Sash or Shifu because I think he could do something here. So I'm really just hoping they don't lead Ting Lu. That's essentially what I'm going. What I'm trying to the point I'm trying to get across. Also, am I too far away? Hold on. Maybe I gotta bring the mic closer to me. I don't know if I was louder or not or whatever. The the audio is probably fine now. It's probably been fine the whole time, but you know, you know, if you've ever made any sort of content whatsoever, you know, you know. All right, what's gonna happen? They do lead off with their Shifu. I was gonna say I forgot what I let off with, but it looks like I let off with something great. So now I'm just gonna drop a fucking Draco. I feel like that's what I should do. They go for Oyster Spinner. It does a decent amount. Did about half. We drop a fucking Draco. And it doesn't knock them out. Very unfortunate. This is where we're going to go for a... Uh, what's it called? Probably. Actually, is this just like the a similar Shifu set to the one that I'm using? Yeah, because that Draco probably should have killed. Most likely. Anyway, Shadow Sneak will kill. So I'm going to go for it. They might switch into Ting Lu. That's their, they can do that if they want. You know what I mean? They can do that. I'm still shadow sneaking with the best of them. I don't give a fuck. Like, this is fine. I'm so okay with this. Um, I could go out on my own Ashifu and positively put in work. Because if this is if this is the two, and then they brought the horse, we're so good. So yeah, fuck it. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go hard Ashifu. And then click surging strikes. And if they want to terror, that's also good. That means they don't resist poltergeist anymore. Um, so yeah, we'll, uh, payback, huge. Oh, so it's AV, it's the AV set, okay. So then I'm just going to, I am just going to click Surging Strikes. Because the AV set is usually Fairy or Poison. Uh, I guess it could be Water as well, but I'm going to go off the fact that it's Fairy or Poison, so if they do Terra, they're going to Terra into a Fighting Resist, so I'm going to click Surging Strikes. Surging Strikes in Close Combat do the same damage rolls anyways. And let's find out what they tear into. This really opens up. Uh, what's his face? This really opens up Garatina. Like if it's Ghost Horse in the back, Shadow Sneak uh, Okos like 100% of the time. So yeah, that's doing damage. And we also still have a bird. You know what I mean? And they can't click Rock because you don't run you don't run payback on the stealth rock set it, it you only run payback on the assault vest set so they're not getting a rock so they're just gonna be hitting up like this is great i don't think they have a citrus berry i firmly believe low key i could probably tear a water and just win the game here but i think i'm gonna do it the other i'm gonna do it this way instead i might not die to this earthquake either so maybe i still win the game it all comes down to does my aqua jet kill their shifu does it die? Yeah, see, if I tear water, that easily killed. And then I would just Aqua Jet the horse. Does it kill me? It doesn't. Let's go. All right, let's click it again. And then I'll Aqua Jet the opposing Shifu, assuming 
they outpace me. Um, and then, I mean, if they go into the horse, I'd attack with that as well. That's not a big deal. And yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh, will they? Will they? Will the sash come back through draining kiss? I actually think it might. Uh, no. Actually, it doesn't look like it should. I don't have that much HP. Alright, let's just jet. Break the sash, and then we go in, and then we go into Garatina, and we Shadow Sneak, and we should be A okay. Garatina is actually gonna clutch up in the first one, which is really cool. He's just really cool. <laughs> it's not a super fake there. I don't know why. He's like, that's really cool, man. He's gonna Shadow Sneak. I'm gonna do it. Because uh, it'll knock this guy out, because they can't Terra. Um, and it's four times super effective. And their Urshifu is 100% in range. So, shout out to Mixed Garatina getting it done. Knock on wood, of course, but I think I think we're getting it done. I think we might be getting it done, folks. Let's see what happens. But yeah, this is a really cool team. Like I said, I've I've got about six battles under my belt now. So yeah, they, they do leave. I got about six battles under my belt now with this team. This one now, seven, so... Uh, I really like the team. I really do. Ooh, okay. Here we are with our second battle. Going up against a Coridon team with, I guess, Chiyu as the main sun abuser. There's also a Volcarona. Um, and a Corviknight that doesn't... Uh, well, I was going to say doesn't want to get hit by water time move. I don't know why for his whole second. I was like, Corviknight's weak to water. No, it's weak to fire. Anyways, um, what I was trying to get at was during our previous session that is lost to time, thanks to the power outage... Uh, we fought against two Coridon teams, and both of them didn't bring the Coridon. I don't know what about the team screams don't bring Coridon, but, like, Coridon looks so good against my team outside of Garatina, and even Garatina, if it has a dragon move, like, it looks so good. I am gonna lead off, uh, it's probably Scarf Chiyu or Sash. How do I want to deal with that? What if I... This is tough. Uh, what if I do this, this, and this? If this is the one time they lead off a Coridon and I don't lead Mamoswan, I'm going to be so upset. Because like I said, we did a few battles with this team already. Two of them had Coridons. I led Mamoswan because that's what the article says to do against the Coridon teams. Lead Mamoswan, Terra, and go to town. Uh, but neither of them brought the Coridon. And here it is. Of course. So they're probably going to Terra immediately, which is fine, I guess. Um, did I bring Mammoth Swine? I didn't. No, I did not. I did not. I don't think I did. I did! Okay, I mean... Well, I am going to die here. Like, even if they flame charge, like, I'm, I'm just dead. So I, I wish I let all with Mammoth Swine, but I'm going to flip turn. They don't even Terra! What do you mean? Is this the assault vest one? Like, is that the? Like, what do you mean you don't tear there? I'm an iron bundle, bro. What the fuck? What is the world coming to, guys? What are they clicking? U turn. Okay. So they're not even scarf. They just didn't give a fuck, bro. No, specs ice beam would have killed that thing, right? Like, surely. I don't care if you're AV. AV would have probably lived. But that's fucked up. AV would have most likely lived. Anyways, I'm clicking Earthquake, man. They have Will-O-Wisp. They miss because they're bad at the game. That's what they get. That's what they fucking deserve. Oh, that did nothing. That's what they fucking deserve. Okay. Uh, I guess we got a game. I don't fucking know, man. Um, and yeah, this gonna morning sun after. What do I do? What do I do against the Volcarona? Could I dodge another Will O Wisp? I could. I could dodge another Will O Wisp. Then that is morning sun. I'm gonna try to go bundle and see what they do. They might just, like, say fuck it and fiery dance, which they should do in theory. But I'm gonna see what happens here. I can't believe, bro. Bro just did not give a fuck. 
Wouldn't even have killed Bundle, by the way, with Ice Beam. There we go. They go for Will-O-Wisp again. Perfect. Okay, so Volko Rona. Does the sunlight fade is the question that I have. Does the sunlight fade? Okay, so Earthquake did about less than that. So I think they're at bare minimum max HP. At the bare minimum, they're at max HP. So while you're in the bundle with your specs hydro pump in the sun, should, should knock this out. Okay, they're switching. If they go back into fucking cry down, bro, I swear to God. Okay, they went Corviknight. That's okay. So we found out the three. Which we miss. Which is cool. Very cool. But now we know that Iron Bundle is super important to winning this game. So now we know. Anyways, we're going to go out into our Mammoth Swine. Just in case they want to get off a U-turn. Get some, get some chip on the Corviknight. Or any move, honestly. Brave Bird, Body Press. At the bare minimum, we're going to get Rocky Helmet Chip. And we might even live these hits because... Uh, oh, they go for Tailwind. I was going to say, we might even live these hits because they are... What's it called? So I think they're going to switch here. Like, surely they switch here. <gasps> if not, then we waste a turn of Tailwind. That's fine. I don't know why they taunted. I really don't get that at all. Also, they definitely don't need the Tailwind. Everything they have is faster than me. I guess besides Bundle, but... I'm just going to Earthquake again. Just waste another turn of Tailwind. Like, this, this, that, exactly, exactly, exactly. They're going to take Rocky Helmet Chip, and then whatever comes in does not want to take an Earthquake into an Ice Shard. That's for damn sure. Please give me Coridon. They got to go out back into Volcarona, though. Like, they should, anyways. Back into Volk. This should do a little less than half. Big damage. Okay, so they either have to go for the burn or go for the Morning Sun. So I'm just going to click Earthquake here. Just going to click Earthquake here. And see what happens. If they burn me, that's fine. I'm super okay with it. Nope, they Morning Sun. Perfect. We can get a crit. We can get a crit. So they're like, they're probably defensive low-key. Just based on how consistently that's doing, not that much damage. Because, yeah, if that's, if that is the Omega defensive one, then it makes sense why it's not doing that much. But if it's just max HP, man, you know, anyways, I'll just click Earthquake again. They got to go for the burn if they want to get it, you know, so I'm just going to keep, uh, I'm going to keep clicking this. But yeah, I think, I think Bundle like low key wins. Bundle low-key wins. That's the third Morning Sun, I believe. Uh, I'm actually just going to go out into it now. I'm going to go back out into Bundle now. Because they're probably going to Morning Sun again. And then I can maybe land a Hydro Pump. And then that Corvin, I definitely can't switch in. <clears throat> to two Hydro Pumps. They could Terra right now in front of me. Like... What do we assume the set is? Quiver Dance? No. It's Morning Sun Will O Wisp for sure. Maybe it's just Dual Stab. But I'd have to imagine it's like Will O Wisp Terror Blast, maybe? I land these. I don't miss two in a row. They could go Coridon now, which would be very crazy. Because an Ice Beam prediction from my end doesn't really seem that crazy. But alright, perfect. They're going into this. Amazing. Bundle, please, bundle, please. Can we just land an attack bundle? I'm not asking for a whole lot, man. I really ain't. Please. Please, bro. My man has missed two hydro pumps. Like, come on. The only two you've clicked. All game. Thank you. Finally. Please just kill. Oh my god, so close. Perfect. Alright, amazing. I couldn't have asked for a better series of turns. <laughs> what the fuck was that about, man? All right. Uh, so they might switch. They might roost. 
I am... I'm just going to go into Mammoth Swine. Because I really hope they just, like, try to U-turn in the off chance I miss or something. But I guess, in, my, in their opinion, their best bet should probably be to Roost in the case I miss. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Unless they went hard. There's no way they went hard, Volk, on a, on a Hydro Pump. There's just no way. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. All right. So now I'm just going to Ice Shard. I'm just going to Ice Shard. I'm pretty convinced that this is... Um, I'm pretty convinced that this is uh, AV. They could Terra Fire, which is whatever. I'm just going to Ice Shard, though. Big damage. Blame Charge. We tanked that. We could have killed them with Earthquake and Ice Shard. Very unfortunate behavior. Uh, I guess an Ice Shard puts them in range of a Shadow Sneak, so... Never mind. Ice Shard just kills them. Let's fucking go! Easy! It wasn't hard. Um, I guess in front of Volk, I probably just go for an Earthquake in case they try to go for a Morning Sun or something like that. Um... And then it's just, yeah, it's like, if, if their Volcarona doesn't have offensive capabilities, it's looking like, um, it's looking like my guys should clutch up. Bundle should anyways. Oh, Earthquake. It is Quiver Dance. Okay. Good to know. So then what's your one attacking move? You You have one attacking move. What is it? That did so much. That looks like it did the highest damage roll it's done since this uh, happened. I mean, if they if they Morning Sun, they'll get the full. Because of the sun's up. But they're going to Will-O-Wisp. Okay. I wish this would kill me so badly. But it's not going to. 23? No, it's not going to kill me. I wish like it somehow crit me. I wish on this turn only that will o -Wisp also did damage to you. <laughs> like, like as it hits you. You know what I mean? Like a draining kiss kind of thing. Anyways, uh, let's see what happens here. 23 to 11. So that did 12. So I should die on this next turn. Regardless of what happens. So I'll just click Earthquake. Morning Sun. We'll get a little bit of chip. Uh, and then I guess it just comes down to can Garatina clutch. We have to either dodge a Will-O-Wisp or something. I'm actually going to find out. What would be better here for Garatina? Because they're at plus one, plus one, plus one, right? And I'm convinced they're like max, max. They're like bold max, max. So that might not even be faster than Bundle. I guess we can go find out. Yeah, we can find out. Um, well, otherwise, anyways, what was I, what was I trying to get? I was trying to look at the Garatina accounts. Um, Draco would do more than burn Poltergeist. Okay, good to know. Anyways, I'm going to go out and bundle and assume that they were, fa that were faster. Just because I don't think they have speed investment. I don't think you can afford speed investment based on how much that, uh, that earthquake was doing. So they would have to Terra here. Um, wait. Which they definitely should Terra here. Did they Terra yet? No, right? Yeah, no. They definitely should Terra here. They don't, though. Oh, unless I am faster. I, I'm probably faster. Well, if Bundle could have just landed its Hydro Pumps earlier in the game, this this, this shit would have been over. <laughs> like, this shit would have been over so long ago. I would have had, I would have like two more Hydro Pumps as well. They don't. They're dead. This is dead. This is dead. Easy money. Easy money. It wasn't hard. If Corvax is the only one that's left, I uh, might switch. I might switch, just because of um, Ice Beam should two a KO, like guaranteed. Like, obviously, if I land the Hydro Pump, they die. But I don't want to risk that. I am, like, I have one left. I've already missed two. I'm just going to switch into Garrotina. They're going to cancel the battle anyways. Exactly. So it's fine. That was, uh, honestly, not... <laughs> the first battle showcased Garrotina and how well it could do. Um, 
that second battle went quite a while. Uh, yeah, I think with that, it's been decided. Uh, that second battle kind of went a little bit too long, well, a lot longer than I thought it would be. Um, so, we're going to actually cut it short there. Didn't Honestly, didn't really get the show off Garatina all that much. But we showed off the team as a whole. Really good team. Uh, I really wish I could have I could have showed you guys those other battles that I had, man. I, I don't know why, like, whenever... Because this is the second time this happened to me where I'll be in the middle of a recording session. This is, like, right at the tail end. I was literally doing the outro. And then the power just went boom. But I don't really I don't really understand why that when you're recording something and then the power cuts out, when it comes back, the recording is like corrupted. I guess it makes sense in theory, because you never click stop recording. I'm not a scientist, so I really don't know the ins and outs of that. But regardless, um if you all like what you saw and you saw what you like, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought of the team as well as any of the new Pokemon you guys might want to see us use in the future. But with that being said, guys, I'm gonna get about it here. We'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.